Hello. It's me again. What a treat. I learned from Kathy Berg to say, this is a live stream with live people in the chat. And if you're re-watching later, thank you so much. Make sure to click subscribe and the little bell to find out when I'm on again. Maybe, depending on how notifications are working. Oh, my L. Oh, my gosh, did I have fun with you today. I'm telling you, that was good times. I've had a fabulous time today switching back and forth between jelly plating and working in the journal. It's just been fun, but it's hard to switch gears that fast for me. Hey, Linda. Hey, fishy face. It was so fun, Elle. Hey, Sue. Thank you. Michelle. Do you have your jelly plate out, Michelle? I don't know how long I'll be on. This has been really fun, but hey, you know what? I'm starting to get a little tired. <laughs> I did want to go, this was the cute little journal we made or started making the other night um, out of our shopping bag with the Diane Reevely method. So I wanted to do the stenciling in the borders and, and do that and figured uh, because I'm going to use a jelly plate as a palette, we'll be able to get some cool prints from that as well because, hey, don't want to waste that paint now, that stinky paint. So I'm going to jump in and just go. And thank you guys all for coming. Oh, wait. I have top chat on. Silly me. Michelle, did you go for a walk and find a magic leaf? <laughs> oh, Colleen's so funny. Hey, Karen Sue. How are you? Do you go by just Karen or Karen Sue? I'm just shaking up my paints. These guys, these are the Dilutions paints that I used the other night. And they do have a little uh, shaker ball in them. So I'm... I am loving this jelly suit. Can't get enough. I had a fabulous time watching Karen Tamir this morning on her jelly plating video premiere. Um, when I tried to do some of her techniques at Kathy Berg's, I just got irritated with it. Um, my prints were not looking anything like Karen's and I don't care for putting that much water on my plate to use the magicals. Oh, fishy face, you're still at work, boo. You were with us this morning when you had to go off to work, weren't you? Gosh, Elizabeth, can you believe that was this morning or this afternoon? Okay, so I've got my paints shaken up. And again, I'm working with the cool colors in the Dilutions paints. And it is Balmy Night, Blue Lagoon, Island Parrot. Oh, till 10, cat. I give you a pass. Go home. You have a doctor's note. I'm a doctor. No, I'm not. Um, pink flamingo, which I just love this. I love this color. That was some good English. Desert sand and fiery sunset. And these were the colors that Diane Reevely was using to do her technique. I did go off the rails. I'm not following her technique very closely, but again, when I'm done, I might zoomed in too much. I think when I start stenciling, it'll be better. Um, I went off the rails, so I'm not following her exactly, but I'm being inspired by her. So the next thing she did was use one of these little doodahs. She uses Tim's, um, I say that like we're close personal friends, Tim Holtz's uh, round ink daubers to do her stenciling. And she has a different handle for each color. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing that. Thanks, Al. Um, I don't know, because I'm not. So what I'm going to do is just take my makeup sponge 
and I used it earlier and it's gotten hard. So I'll just grab my scissors and give it a little haircut and you'll get a whole new sponge. Look at that. It's magic. And what I'm going to do as well is use, I've got my little square jelly plate and it fits on the page. Look at that. Ha ha. So I'm thinking that we can do mostly stenciling, but then when we get a cool looking thing here, we can use it like a rubber stamp. So that'll be fun. And then I pulled out a few stencils I want to use. Um, let's see. This one I think might be a Diane Ravely. I can't tell you because it's covered with paint. This one, Crafter's Workshop maybe. And this one, I have no idea. Also covered with paint, not helpful. Sorry, but you know, some squares, some circles and some different shapes. <laughs> They're kind of triangle-y, mostly triangles. So um, I did, I was thinking about stenciling these onto the jelly plate and doing a pickup, but I can't control where they are as well as I would like to. Hey, Colleen, how's the magic leaf? You'll never see another leaf like it. Mark thought I was losing my mind, Colleen. I was still laughing like half an hour later. Hey, Debbie, how are you? Okay, so those are the stencils that I picked out. Oh, and this one as well. And I think this is a Patty Tolly Parish. Uh, again, covered with paint. <laughs> so... Uh, what I'm going to do is put my paint out on my little plate and um, use my makeup sponge and stencil that way. And then we'll turn this into like a stamp to do it on a different page. So that is my plan, Stan. And I think I'm going to start with, actually, I think I'm going to start with the Balmy Night. Is that what it is? Yeah. Because it's the darkest. So let's uh, let's just take a peek and do a little stenciling with that. So I'll put some out on the plate and I think I want to put a stencil here. I do like the stencils. So I'm going to use very little paint and I'm going to really smoosh it out, get most of it off because this is really dark. Um, so I'm just going to do a little bit and I think it's coming out even darker than I expected. So I think I'll just do a little bit down here and maybe call that good. But oh, look at that. Eileen, <laughs> I am addicted, but Eileen, I said I was going to go all weekend, man. It's Journal Jelly Weekend. Journal Jelly June Gin Weekend. <laughs> and I will say about these paints, uh, the Dilutions paints, they do dry super quick, which is nice. So let's keep going and see what we got. Um, I think I'll do a different color on those. I'm not going to do a ton in the, um, Debbie, do it every day. You do or I should. I'm going to take out a different stencil because I'm a rebel. And you know what? It's really dark. Let me see if I can just get a little bit. Because I'm thinking uh, for journaling, this is a little dark to journal over. Eileen Nam made me a cocktail. What are you talking about? You were drinking at Kathy's and took a nap. I know you did. Debbie, <laughs> have you taken yours out yet? Debbie, have you taken it out? <laughs> Sue. <laughs> no, actually, one of the girls, um, thing two, as Mark fondly refers to her, Victoria is with her partner at her house. So I only have Olivia here, and Olivia has started a job up here that's kind of a placeholder until she starts her new job in Portland um, because Portland is pretty much still closed. So not as crazy. Oh, oh laughing dogs, Laura. I was hoping it was going to come on with me, but she is busy having a life. You know, I know it's annoying, but <laughs> there you go. So I just took the other stencil. Oh, look at that. It has for a minute. Yes, Sue. And that's why I thought this weekend I was going to do nothing but work in my journal. 
and play with my jelly plates. And then I decided that I would make you suffer along. I mean, enjoy it with me. <laughs> okay. So I, I am loving how these look, but they're going to be a little dark for journaling over. Um, I think even if I go really lightly, it's still pretty dark. So I don't know. That one came out a little less crazy. Oh, look at that. I like it. That's right, Sue. Oh, uh, thanks, Al. Elizabeth, are you making fun of me because I don't have a white mask? <laughs> are you mocking me because that's mean? <laughs> yeah, while it was quiet, Sue, I thought I'd play. I have a ton of stuff I need to get photographed and listed in the Etsy shop next week and all kinds of stuff like that. So I thought I would just take this weekend for this sort of hijinkery. <laughs> I figured you were L and I love you back, brat. Okay, so we have a little bit of paint left here. And I think what I will do is brayer it out. Uh, it's just about dry. I may not get an impression. Might have gotten a little bit of impression with the stencil. So when we do a pickup later on or use it as a stamp, maybe we'll see that. I know it's fun, L. I want to journal more tomorrow. I'm loving working in my journal. Oh, Debbie, my next thing. Uh, I need to get, I need to address that as well, Debbie. Thank you. Yep. Got to get a sale going. I'm hoping one of these days that, you know, we'll be able to go out and pick or something. We did go to that fun little shop that isn't fun anymore and got a few things. So we could do those. Um, so that's, that's coming up on the agenda too, but gosh, Debbie, doesn't it seem like there's a live sale every minute of every day? I feel like there is. Now, if I'd wanted the um, blue lagoon, blue lagoon to stay, true, stay pure. I would have used a different sponge, but I don't really want it to. So we're going to get some of that balmy night that will tone down the blue lagoon. Hey, Farrington. Welcome, my friend. We'll put a few circles there because it's fun. Ah, Debbie, sweet. Yeah, I got to we got to pay the retreat house bills since there's no retreats to be had. So I'll have a sale pretty soon. All right. I love how that's looking. Valerie. Welcome. And Elle, thank you. I so enjoy hanging out with you guys and crafting. I don't get as much done, I have to say. Because I so enjoy yakking with you. Oh my gosh, Elizabeth, how fun was the yakking? Here's our moon page, and I think I want some green. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on the same plate, and then we'll get some mixing going on and some mixing on the sponge, and it'll be fun. Hey, Abril. How's your Saturday evening, my friend? Yes, I'm still jelly plating. Can you imagine? Well, Sue, if I needed adult chat, um, this is not where I would have come for it. <laughs> L, my friend, you can yak, and boy, do I enjoy it. I told Elizabeth today, I, you know, I haven't been commenting on your videos. It's nothing personal, and this is not as weird as it sounds, but Elizabeth, Never Hopeless by Elizabeth, you guys all know that. Um, she has been posting a video just about every day, which I love, and my new evening routine is to go get in the plastic pond and watch Elle's video. And so I don't comment because I watch it on my phone. I can't, I have to leave it on the edge. I'm afraid to touch it. Debbie, I do too, right? And as I said, I could be doing this all on the gel plate, um, but I want a little more accuracy with this. Just where it's ending up. Hey, Angie. Oh my God, Eileen. Don't you wish you had a magic leaf? 
Colleen's not talking. I'm thinking she is crooning her magic leaf and cuddling it and calling it George. Tell the truth, Eileen. And uh, Eileen, no, Colleen. I know you are. <laughs> oh, there you are. I love touching the buttons, though. <laughs> You're gonna wax it, Colleen. <laughs> Yep, I sit in the cement pond, Carla. It's been chilly enough at night, even if it's boiling during the day, that it feels good in there. Isn't that weird? All right, so I'm kind of tired of using that for a moment. So I'm going to brayer this out a little bit. Maybe put on a little bit of the Blue Lagoon for fun. Angie, did I say hi or did I just think it? Oh, April, you had a nice lazy Saturday. Awesome. Jelly plating is more fun to watch. <laughs> you, come on, get your plate out, April. Well, I suspect that there might be um, jelly plated paper packs in my Etsy shop after this week. <laughs> Michelle, you can hunt all you want, but there's only one magical leaf. <laughs> only one. Okay, so I did the um, brayer and the stencil on the plate. I'm just going to roll this here to see if there's anything hiding that wants to come off. <gasps> Margie, jelly jelly in your belly. Hello, honey. Look, we've got a little teeny bit. Isn't that beautiful? On the tissue that has a hole. Don't care. Aw, Margie, thank you. Hey, Kathy. I'm just goofing off today, really, Kathy. Everything I'm doing is very Diane Reevely inspired. I love that page. But I'm glad you're here. And you lurk away, girl. I think what I want to do is I'm going to use this like a... Oh, Farrington. So sweet. Thank you. I'm going to use this like a rubber stamp. And again, I'm going so off script as far as Diane Reevely goes. This... Mixing colors, all that kind of thing would not work for her. Okay. Hey, Nicole. Aren't you sick of me yet, Nicole? Can you believe I'm here again? I'm rubbing it like I love it. Yes, Margie. It's all I got. Me is all I got. But I got great inspiration from Diane. Okay. Ooh, on the brown, that's going to be pretty. Nice, and there's enough here. We'll get another cool pickup print in a bit. Look how that came out, you guys. So isn't that gorgeous? It looks, it's the same colors as here, but look how different it looks on the brown. And it looks like I'm a little blurry, but there's a lot of texture and different circles and stuff in there. Oh, Farrington, you're warbling. Thanks, Eileen. This is a great size jelly plate, Margie. There's Nana. Hi. All right. So let's keep going and see where we could use a few more. Yours is pristine. <laughs> I don't believe in that, Margie. I don't believe in pristine. I've cleaned them off a couple times today and, well, today and today and yesterday because, um, I've been doing so many different techniques with so many different media that some cleaning was in order. <laughs> I'll go back to my slovenly ways, though. What looks like a butterfly? Which one, Angie? Oh, Nana sent me a kiss. Angie, I'm bad at this. I don't see a butterfly. This one? Maybe. I could see that. Maybe. I'm going to put a little bit of turquoise in here because it would be fun. Let's use squares. Let's put some squares in. These are also the stencils. Some of these I'll use for borders because that's what Diane's had to do next was um, put. she puts black borders on, I think, just about every page. And I like that. I like how that looks a lot. There. Ooh, I like it. 
I got some crumbs. I think my, oh, uh, you know what? There's some paint crumbs coming off. But once it dries all the way, they'll brush right off. So you're all typed out. Are you fresh exhausted now? The one on the brown page, Angie? Let's see. Where did I do that? Didn't I just do that a minute ago? Hello. I've lost it. I know what I know the one you mean, Angie. Less girly, Sue. The girly doesn't bother me, but the thing I like about it, Sue, is I, I just like the border that if you're whatever kind of journaling you're doing, glue booking, whatever, it the frame just kind of draws your eye in. Yes, and it makes the colors really pop and stand out. Angie, did you swipe that page out of this book? Oh, wait, here we go. This one, a butterfly. Do you guys see a butterfly? Elle, I know you do. I know that Elle loves a black border. I just didn't see it, Angie, but I'm terrible at seeing things like that. It's like trying to see things in reverse. No. We already did some stenciling here. But I want to. I want to. Nope. I'm not going to. Margie sees a butterfly, but I think she's just messing with me. I'm staring at it really hard. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I almost saw it for a minute. Like a wing here. This is like when you guys tried to make me see... <laughs> Margie, I knew it. A doll on the creepy baby. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I can see it if I look on camera instead of down at it. So we've got a wing here and a wing here and a wing here and a wing here. Ha ha. Valerie sees it too. Valerie. The face in the jelly print. Yep. Sue, I just can't always see it. I shamed Elizabeth into coming on with me. Carla, and it made her headache better. She was so busy being mad at me that her headache went away. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Did we skip pages? Did I skip pages in the middle? I know. I'm so glad that Elle's feeling better too. Just seeing if we missed anything. And really, you guys, on this journal, Angie, it's true. You were right, and I was wrong. I don't mind seeing Charlie Sheen anywhere. Oh. <laughs> Although he's kind of rough now, huh? Did we skip some? Leaving the black pages black unless, you know, they got some paint on them and then we made it look like we meant it. <gasps> Darling Fiend, hello. How's care sale? Was it a showstopper? I just want to put a little green on this page, you guys. Just a little bit. Yeah, so those of you who are going back to watch Diane Reevely's, her technique is fabulous. I it yeah, it's not I'm doing different now. I picked that up with my brayer automatically because apparently now it just is muscle memory. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll just put a little green right there. Ooh, I like it. Oh, it went well, yay, but you couldn't bid because you were modding. Darla, she always has gorgeous items, always. I have been jelly plating and um, journaling my face off all day. Oh, it's very hoggish tonight for fishy face. Yes, I know, Farrington, and wasn't that just a shame? Because Charlie Sheen, I thought, was a handsome feller. Thank you, Margie. Green, green jelly bean. <laughs> Darling, you're so good. You guys, I find that um, acrylic paint makes my hands itch. Isn't that weird? Awesome. Well, Darla, that is the bright side. Okay, 
So we did some of the cools. I'm liking it. Some of the paint that we just put there transferred onto the tissue. Don't care. I know, Nicole, right? Kathy, Jelly played it four hours the other day. You, why'd you pack it back up again? <laughs> what do you have to go without, L? It makes your hands itch too, Sue? Oh, Farrington, that's bad. Chick-fil-A is bad. Naughty them. Oh, sweet cat. Because there's a little bit of paint here. I was seeing if I wanted some more green anywhere, and I don't think so. Oh, yeah, don't do not do that. No, I don't want to be allergic to acrylic, so I'm going to ignore that. So I'm just putting some, I'm using the makeup sponge, and there's a little bit of the Island Parrot mixture on there. So I'm just making some little spongy marks right there. Oh, Sue, I didn't notice it this winter. It might just be because I'm jelly plating incessantly. <laughs> Margie. <laughs> oh, Farrington, your birthday is next Wednesday. I can't, Nicole, because then I can't. I don't know. I can't. What did you get, Farrington? All right. So let's see what we can do with this a little white paint. I bet we can get a cool print. I am in excess now. And who knows? Just one morning, maybe tomorrow, I'm going to wake up and go, oh, I'm sick of jelly plating. Ugh. Hasn't happened yet, though. So I just put some white down in here. I'm going to roll that down. I'm going to take one of the stencils we're using just because I'm trying to keep a little consistency through here. Yes, Darla, you should. Cat's journals, yeah. All right, so there's that. And then I think I want to put this down. Maybe I'll just put a little bit of this on there. Oh, cat, don't do it. The 22nd. Oh, I wasn't even close. I missed like by seven days or six days. I'm sorry. Yes, happy pre-birthday. Okay. Mash that down. I'm going to take this stencil because I just put paint on top of it because I've lost all control of myself now. And I'm going to find, this is the place where I put it down before. I'm going to do that again. We hopefully get some excess. Oh, Farrington, don't loathe the public, <laughs> she says. Doesn't that look fun? So we got a little bit more of the blue circles. Uh, do I want to just, uh, do I just throw this on this page? I might. I think I do. <gasps> what? Yes, Margie, I think you are correct. I'm doing it. Whoop. I do have the plastic sheets off the front and the back of my jelly plate. What? Rub it. And you can see the tissue tore a little bit where we bound the signature in. And again, I can slap some washi tape on there or I'll just leave it uh, because my intention for the tissue is for it to get torn out for collaging someplace else. So. I know, Nicole, right? <laughs> Elizabeth, I store them with the plastic plates on them. I'm not going to lie. Um, it is a jelly stamp. That's true, Margie. Um, but they are now saying that it does, it can hurt your plates. It's never hurt mine. And sometimes I just throw them all together in a stack. <laughs> Dar Darla, right? I was thinking about that. People being agoraphobic. But see, Elle, I don't care if I get divots in mine. It upsets you, would not upset me. 
All right, so we got a lovely pull. Do you see a face over here, Valerie? I can see that one. Smack it on. Margie, I knew that you were. I was going to say I didn't know that, but I think I did know that. That's rough. Um, but look at all that yumminess. I can't stand that. Just sitting there looking that beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and put some stormy sky on there. Store a balmy night. What, what balmy night? I could I could do that, Carla, or I could just put on a piece of washi tape <laughs> or ignore it. I know, L divots bother you, but just think of it as a little extra texture. Darla, are you going back out into the world soon? Are those people making you go? I'm going to be, it's going to be weird. I'm going to be weird. <laughs> it's part of your charm though, Darla. Okay. Let's see what we can get here. Ooh, some metallic. Good idea. Um, oh, please. I got it. Uh, ooh, I've got some royal gold. What about that? You don't have to. Okay, Angie, we'll be here for a little bit. I'm not going to be on terribly long. Uh, I am having a hard time talking a little bit. Um, and no, it's not the gin. <laughs> um, so I probably will not be on terribly long, but tomorrow is more fun. How is that, Farrington? I really want to put a pattern in here, but I don't think we'll get as good um, a pull. And I want to kind of try to clean the plate a little Thanks, Nicole. Darla, you don't ever have to? Do you just get to stay home forever now? Because that's cool. Rub it. Rub it like you love it. What, Margie? What? Why is Margie gasping? What did I do inadvertently? Or is she just being a drama queen? That's right. <laughs> I know, right, Margie? I won't really clean it. Yeah, probably eventually, Darla. Good, Carla. I didn't wait for your answer. I'm sorry. I'm moving right along here. Xandra was so right, though, you guys. Peeling the plate back instead of the paper back makes such a difference. <gasps> Ooh, I'm not even going to tell you how cool this came out. It's a secret. Shh. Oh, she's pretty. Wish I had a little more white. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It did clean the plate pretty nicely. <laughs> oh, God, no. I am not inhabited by anything but goofiness, Margie. Um, That came out pretty. Little dark. Wish there was a little more white. But... Fun, right? How fun would that be just to make a journaling card or a pocket or journal on it? And that was, I mean, I put one drop of other paint on it, but using this as a palette, it's all paint that would have been wasted. And I keep saying that, I know that, but it fascinates me end endlessly. <laughs> okay, so let's do some warm colors now, shall we? I'm going to go ahead and give the sponge another haircut. I could a brill. Or we could put some white on the plate and do a second print. <laughs> uh, I just, we were talking about colors and things getting muddy the other night. I don't want to use the same sponge or with the cool colors on it now that we're going into warm. Because then you're going to start getting um, mud. Oh, Farrington loves a brill. Oh, you know what? Well, what the heck, guys? Let's do it right now. Let's put some white on this bad boy. Right? Saturday night. We're just goofing off. We could do it. We could do it. Let's do it. Okay. Got some white. I do not have white or black in um, the Dilusions paint, so I'm just using Americana. Hey, Deb! How are you? How's your day? What you been doing? Oh, you know what, you guys? 
Yes, you can. You can do it. Yes, you can. I'm going to use this, this guy right down the middle. That'll be fun. And I am using the sponge. I didn't give it a haircut yet because it'll make the paint not be as bright white. And I'm hoping um, it will be bright enough to show. Oh, dear, Deb. Yeah, no, don't breathe that in. Is it nice there? Oh, and the grandkids are playing with a Frisbee. It's gotten really cold outside here. It's And then creepy baby day, Thursday, of course. They're predicting it to be 90 again. So I don't know what to say about the weather this year. I got nothing. All right. Oh, Abril, you're a baby genius. Thanks, Abril. I'm pretty sure this is a Patty Tolly Parish. It's old and it's really painty. Look at, oh, she's beautiful. It's Rona weather. I wub her. Thanks, Sue. Yeah, that's great. Yep, yep, yep. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, st the stencil. There's still white paint on the brayer. And I'm just going to put that down and let it dry while we're using this as our palette. And again, sometime, one of the pulls we do, that might show up. Thanks, guys. Hey, Barbara, welcome back. Thank you. Can you believe I'm on talking again? I can't. Elle, I might be talking more than you today. Wow. How could that happen? All right. So I'm still, you know what? That looks so cool. Let's do it again. Should we do that? Put a white, one of these right down the middle of this page. Let's do it. <laughs> Barbara, I'm a yacker of the first order. I do feel like I'm getting a little punchy, so, you know. Okay. Let's do it. Now, remember, a Brill made us do this. If it turns off badly, it's a Brill's fault. <laughs> Not really. But if it turns out well, it was a Brill's idea. Okay. Here we go. This is going to look cool. I didn't have quite enough white paint, so I stole some off the brayer. Because God forbid we put another one drop down. Oh, are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, I don't think you can see it that well on the camera. And it's fairly subtle in real life, but it's freaking fabulous. Yes, that was a dig at L, RG. We've been all lovey-dovey all day. I don't want her to get, you know, uppity or anything. What do you think, you guys? Oh, no, Abril, you get kudos all around. Love it. So that is super fun. I'm going to give that one second um, because it's not the Dilutions paint. It's going to take a little minute to dry. But there's not very much paint on there, so it won't take long. My mat, <laughs> I've got my craft mat down. So uh, it's sliding around. So I just sprayed out that white. I'll use this stencil again and see if that ever shows up again. Me too, fishy face, all day long on people's computers. I'm not giving them a moment's peace. <laughs> oh, but fishy face, look what we did. It was a Brill's fault. And it's dry now, you guys. That's how fast it'll dry. Yeah, you know, like too big for her britches, Farrington. Okay, you guys pick the color. Do we use Fiery Sunset? Do we use Pink Flamingo or Desert Sand? Next. Cat is a bright, shiny penny. I'm going to go ahead and give the sponge a haircut now. I do not want mud on our beautiful pages. Although desert sand is kind of a mud color, but it works. Oh, Eileen speaks. I got a sand and I got a flamingo. We'll do them in that order. Else, else britches are too small. Yes, I don't care to address that. Miss L. Nope. 
you know, I don't even care. You know what? I put on my, my uh, quarantine 15 and I will address that when I address it. All right. So we're going to do sand first because Eileen piped up and then flamingo because our Margie piped up. And I like when you guys draw up. Bury the flamingo in the sand. Yes, Eileen, I will. I like when you guys drive the crazy train. So I'm not going to do much. You know, I'm actually not going to do any stenciling on here. There's a lot going on. Love this. We can give this guy a little perk up. Oh, God, Farrington. Please tell me that that's not true. Okay, these will be, this stencil is really fun to doodle around. That's right. More to love, more Elizabeth to love. And Elizabeth is a little tiny thing. I mean, she's tall, but. Oh, I love this stencil. That's fun. And I think, again, because I have some paint on there, I'm just going to go along and make little spongy marks at the bottom. Don't know why. Oh, Farrington, ew. This one could use something, but not desert sand. No. Maybe. No. It's going to blend into the bag. I love the circle stamps we did with the jelly plates. I'm blurry looking. I wish you guys could see how much texture there is in this one. Like it, like it, love it. <laughs> Nicole, well, we all do love you, so that works out. Um, I want to, something. I want something, mama. That's what my daughter used to say. Mama, mama. I'm going to put on some flink, flink flamingo, pink flamingo. Just a touch. No idea what I'm doing. A touch of fiery sunset, which really is a nice orange red. I like these colors very much. Let's give it a little smoosh out. We've still got some desert sand on there. Don't know if it'll pick up or not, but we'll see. Um, let's use our squares. Boink. Uh, boink. Tried to get a little more of the paint off. Flink Pamingo, right, Margie? <laughs> and then I'm going to do a smoosh right there. Yay for pink. You guys are going to make Eileen faint. We already woke her cat up for crying out loud. And boy, didn't we hear about that. That was Colleen's fault, though. Yes, booby pink. <laughs> Um, the pink flamingo is a deeper pink. Farrington, I really like it. Okay. So let's see. Pizza boo. Oh, cool. Yes, pissy pink. Eileen. Yeah. It's a different kind of pissy pink, though. Ooh. Fun. Not totally cleaning the plate, but we're getting some stuff. Ooh, and we're getting those white dots that we, uh, the circles that we brayered out earlier that I said might show up. They turned kind of gray from the balmy night. I don't, why am I blurry? Yes, it's the pink that the flamingos are after they eat a lot of shrimp. Oh boy, cat, that's fun. <laughs> but are they hillbillies wearing masks? Those, those work, Carla. Those are good pinks. I just am loving these pages, you guys. And let's see. Where else do we need some? Feeling pretty good. So that's where we threw in some green. Um, you know what? Actually, I can't now because we're in the cool and the warms. But And the trailer trash cat. And the trailer chat trash um, pig. Oh, the 25% off is still going, Debbie? Get out of town at iStencils. Oh, thank you.
<laughs> Farrington. <laughs> oh, cat, ew. Well, Debbie Long has enabled us. If you feel like spending um, some money on stencils, go check out Eye Stencils. Patty Tolly Parish has a line, and I love them, along with our friend. Um, oh, my God, I just totally drew a blank, you guys. That's awful. I'm reading the chat and looking at names. and uh, Joan Smithies. Oh, my God. Joan, I'm sorry if you're here. Um, she also has a line of stencils that are terrific. Well, awesome. Farrington, you're good to go. Ah, uh, Barbara, yeah, it's happening. Thank you, Judy. Just totally, totally blanked out. Hey, Mike, welcome. Well, Margie, get out your jelly plate. You can make 11 things lickety split. Deb, I do too. I'm a junkie for stencils. And Judy, did I say hi or did I just say thank you? Hi, Judy. Thank you, Judy. Hi, Mike. <laughs> oh, yeah, Farrington, I know that feeling. You got yours already? Eileen, why does the male hate me so? Why? 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 Oh, boy. You're addicted to Etsy? Debbie, <laughs> We'll save up because I'll have a sale one of these days. There you go. Do 11 embellished paper clips and call it macaroni, as Elizabeth says. Oh, Judy's lurking. Shh. Do not distract Judy. Okay. So I liked how that came out so well. I put some fiery sunset down. And let's do that again. You wanna? Wanna? I want to do some more open stencils because they're fun to doodle around. But I liked how this one came out. It's subtle and sneaky. Okay, I'm not looking at chat. You guys don't behave yourselves. Just, you know, be nice to each other. Let Carla talk about boobies. <laughs> Okay. Oh, see why I love this stencil. That's right. De Deb says, look at her Etsy shop, Debbie. I'm just going back and looking at the chat, you guys. She does look at your shop. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. And that also would be fun to doodle around. I got a little smear right there. I think I looked up at chat. Don't care. Let me check again. Nope. It does look like boobs. Maybe that's why I like it, Nicole. Farrington has me all hopped up on boobs. It's eh, unusual, but okay. All right. So we've got the red out. Let's put a little red over here. I think we might need some dotses. Always like a section of three. I think I will do a little bit of fiery red and a little bit of desert sand because we've got flamingo on there. It does, Mike, you're right. Thank you. I was trying to think what it made me think of and a radiation warning symbol is it. <laughs> Boy, it's weird where a person's head goes, isn't it? Oh, yes, Judy, absolutely. Do not perish from boredom, but it could help. I mean, it could happen. Read in the chat again. More desert sand? Okay, Carla. Or a speaker symbol? Yes, Margie, I could see that. I have my moments when I'm not totally thick. Not a lot of them or anything, but... And I'm using that same sponge, you guys, because I really like when the paint kind of models. You know, you're not getting a flat color. Again, that's where I am totally off the rails as far as Diane Reedley's technique goes. I think that might make her fall down and weep like a small child. Uh, 
<laughs> and BUBs. <laughs> Hi, Pamela. Welcome. Colleen, I think you're a moderator. Can you pop your link in for your YouTube channel? My hands are a little painty. And I'm thinking, let's put a little, little red down here. I will say when you do this motion on the tissue paper, it gets a little funky monkey. It's true, Judy. I was just saying for those of you who were following along with Diane's technique, um, I am not following it completely at all. Okay. Ooh, doesn't that make you just want to sit down and do something on that page? Yeah. We love lurkers, Pamela, but we're delighted you came out to say hi. This page has a little bit of all the colors on it. The paints are dry, so I can go in with a warm color, even though there are cool colors on it, and we won't get mud. I am a rebel, Judy. Look at me go. And I said I was going to try to keep the number of stencils to a minimum. Also a lie. She says, tossing that one aside. I like this one. It was on top. The ones on top are my favorite. <laughs> So I'm just going to put a little bit of Fiery Sunset, and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of Desert Sand, which is kind of making a cool uh, brick color. Brick. Really tired, Mike. Especially when I wear all my diamond bracelets. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I wear my bracelets all the time. Can you believe that, Mike? I wear them when I sleep. I wear them when I shower at the beach. Um, and I have for years. And I only wear special ones. And I just don't even think about them anymore. Oh, thanks, darling fiend. However, uh, my children always said that they liked it when they, they were little because I would never lose them at the supermarket. <laughs> Some of them are a little heavy. Um, but you know, you get used to it. It's about the only jewelry I wear except for my nose ring. Darling fiend is the best lurker linker, not lurker linker ever. I like that. And I like that stencil really fun to go in and doodle around that. Or again, if you're using your book as a journal and don't like that page, cover it, tear it out, you know, just, there are a million ways to change it if it's not what you like. And I think let's use some desert sand and knock this puppy back a little. Darla, are you a lurker? You end up in a lot of different places, Darla. I don't know how you do it. And you're always the biggest help. You're always amazing. Margie. <laughs> I do get paint on my bracelets. Nicole, and then it comes off. Um, I realized that, was it Friday? Thursday was Broken William's birthday, my heart implant's birthday, second birthday. And I think that might have been the last time I took my bracelets off when I had Broken William installed. <laughs> and they made me, oh no, second to last time. But yeah, I don't take them off very often. Partly because it's a pain, and I think we've established I'm lazy. Okay. Lovey, I love you. Yes, you do, Darla. <laughs> Darla, you're a people pleaser. I love you. And some of the greens and blues from here stuck over here. Don't care. I love you. <laughs> Yep, I like how that looks. I actually, you know what? Here, let's do this. Let's set that over there. Let's put this here. Actually, we can, um, yep, it's dry. I don't think I want to change that. I'm a terrible lurker. I am a horrible lurker because I talk too much. Although if I were really quiet, it would probably be even worse watching me live stream because there would just be me shaking paint and stenciling. That might be boring. I don't know. Maybe it would be better. 
Maybe it would be better. I'm going to use all these little dotties, but not on that side, on this side. Let's do some dotties. Let's do the dotties where you can see it. How about that? Oh, thanks, Al. I would love a thumbs up, a thumbs down, whatever works for you. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Um, I get into all sorts of hijinks and tomfoolery. A person never knows. Um, I do all kinds of different crafts and live streams and tutorials. Tutorials said with quotes around them because they're not really. And live sales and madness. There's my Mindy. Hi, girl. Oh, Sue, you need this stencil? I'll send it to you. I I would tell you what brand of stencil it is. It's as old as dirt, and I don't know. Thank you, Margie. Look how cool the dots look on top of the map. Oh, yeah, I got a thumbs down. We're popular, you guys. We're super cool. Yeah, Margie, quit giving me thumbs down. <laughs> okay, so I think that's all the stamping or the stenciling we're going to do. Except I would like to put a teeny bit of white in here. Getty would never thumb down me because hims wubs me. Margie, I know it's always you. Okay. Don't know where we're going with this. Oh, I know where we're going with this. Look at Oh, look at that. Look at that. Hey, 87. Welcome. I don't know, Darla. I'm fairly certain there's a group of folks who enjoy my stream so much they give me a thumbs down. <laughs> and that's fine. Yep, I'm still going, 87. I wanted to work in our Diane Reevely inspired journal. Look at that, you guys. Okay, no talking. Shh. I want to pick it. I want to pick it. I've been having so much fun all day. I've hung out with all you people, made new friends, hung out with old friends, arted tons of different styles, ideas, lessons. Oh my gosh, I can't imagine. Okay. Let's just see here. Here we go. That's right, Margie. Or they just, you know, I think some people just get a petty little thrill about to, uh, about, or from doing the thumbs down. But it, uh, it, the, it affects my analytics exactly the same way. <sighs> Sue kicked herself out. <laughs> yes, I just called you old elf. Exactly. <gasps> Ooh, you guys, look what we got from the throwaway paint. Looks like a little brick wall up there. Oh, I love it. Love it. Okay, so there's that one. Didn't do a very good job cleaning the stencil, but what do you think? I don't care. All right, so now the last step is... Oh, hey, welcome back, Angie. Oh, thanks, Pamela. It was so sweet of Kathy to have me, and oh my God, how funny did that get? Boy, did I get get mad at my man, my magicals. I do find, though, that um, sometimes I'm in the mood for whatever, and sometimes I'm not, and I just don't think I was feeling it. Okay, Sue, I won't clean it before I send it. Okay, so this is um, Diane Reevely goes in and does her borders with her, her border stencils. I don't have that. I love this one, too, darling. Um, so I just drew some stuff and cut them out on the cricket. I saw that, Angie. Welcome back. So I'm going to use some black, some black. Feeling what? No Kool Aid? Wait, what did I miss, Farrington? I think I will go ahead and go crazy and use. Oops, I already used that for black. I'm going to give it a haircut because it's all hard. Ah, oh, thanks, Sue. Sell that stencil. It's cool. Laura, it's just stuff I doodled. And then scanned in and cut with the Cricut. 
You could do this. It's just doodles. Okay, and so I've got my little sponge. I'm going to put black out. I don't have Diane Reevely's black either. Uh, I feel like I got my black paint out, but I don't know where it is. Here it is. I found it. Don't panic. Oh, Sue, so it was. it's not a bought one. Nope. <laughs> All right, Jersey, I'll put stencils. That's my new line, stencils in the shop. Cardstock stencils. <laughs> Here, I'll make a note. Are you serious, Jersey? Do you want one? All right, I'm going to make a note. I have notes. You guys, if I promised I would do something for you this weekend and I don't, please remind me. I've been writing stuff down, but you know how I am. Okay. Which one looks like duck feet? The X's? I don't even coat them with um, gel medium 87. I just find that after I've used them, the paint stiffens them up and they're fine. Arlene, hello. Oh. Carla, I ripped up my table cover, tore off my notes, and then put down my Gucci craft mat. My table cover was irritating me because it was covered with magicals. That was, I loved what Karen Tamir did, man. Uh, but I was not having any luck today. But you know what? Sometimes you feel it, sometimes you don't. Okay, so I'm going to try to put a border on just about every page somewhere. And I think on this one, let's just start with little X's. Let's put some little X's over here. So I've got my fancy Dollar Tree cosmetic sponge. And off we go. This is not as opaque. The black is not as opaque as I would like, but I'll take it. It's what we pulled out, right? I always feel like a nut, Sue. <laughs> oh, good for you, Carla. Oh, look, they're cute. I do. Eh, I wish it was darker, but it was. It was really fun to experiment, Laura. And I think I just have to ponder it a little longer. Trying it out live first um, when I was on with. Colleen and Kathy, I couldn't stop and really think about what I wanted to do. Um, so I think if I, I need to do it not live and ponder it. There we go. Threw one more on there for good measure. Got my bracelet stuck in our stencil. Yes, a pirate X marks the spot. Blowing on at 87, just like the, the jelly plate. I just find sometimes, you know, you get right into it, you go with the flow, and sometimes not so much. Okay, so on this page, should we use arrows or should we use something plainer? Because that's pretty crazy. Let's go ahead and use our little rectangles here. So I'm eyeballing it a little bit to kind of try to make it work out the length of the page. Not overly concerned at all. Mindy, were you at CARES? Darla was saying it was a good sale. People got fabulous things at a great price, and CARE did really well for the foundation. I think that's awesome. Oh, I like it. I like it. Oh, you had a situation with a tree down. It's always exciting at your house, Laura. Did that interrupt your jelly plating? Because that's upsetting. <laughs> okay, I'm looking down, you guys. I'm pretending to pay attention. I don't know, Darla. She's got a little laughing till I cry face. It looks like it was okay. Looks like it ended okay. What did you get, Mindy? Did you get fabulous items? What was the coolest thing that um, <laughs> crafting... Crafting was ceased and deceased. What was the coolest thing that Care had today? In your opinion. 
people are so generous with what they share. Yeah, I love it. Look how cute. And I could go across the top and the bottom, but I don't really feel compelled. Jean's rolling pin. Okay, I need more information. Which Jean and what was cool about her rolling pin? <gasps> Journey did snippet rolls. That must have been great. Hey, Debbie. I am just finishing up our little um, Diane Reevely inspired journal to show people how easy it is to make a tiny little journal. And again, this page is kind of busy, so I think I'll go top and bottom to do something different. And I think I'll use one of the plainer little border dudes. So I'll just use these little, they look like doorways to me. Oh, it fell on Cole's soccer goal and it wiped out the woodpecker's house. Bummer. Well, as long as no one was hurt, it's a bummer, but you know. Jean Peters. Oh, what did she do? Did she alter it? Did she paint on that? With Jean, it could be anything. They kind of remind me of like little footy prints. A roll from Painty Paper Bits. Oh, that sounds awesome. Who got it? Who was the lucky winner? Aren't I nosy? Poor Elizabeth this morning. No, oh, I can't. Was it Elizabeth? Elizabeth, did I give you the inquisition about something this morning? Yeah, super glad that could have ended a lot worse. Well, unless you're the woodpeckers, in which case, well, you're at the woodpecker red cross tonight. It was a serious goal from Santa. Oh, well. You can, um, you can shop online, I've heard. Okay. You guys, should I get off live and do this with by myself? Is this too boring to even stand? I fibbed because I thought we'd be doing more jelly plating. Oh, Kathy won it. Yay. Yeah. Santa's lousy with money. Nicole, no. Oh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Sue, you're always enthralled with everything I do. I'm your hero. Admit it. Admit it. Biddleston, welcome and thank you. You're so sweet. Thanks, Nana. It may be making an appearance in my shop because 87 and Debbie Long have requested. Oh, thanks, 87. <laughs> oh, Angie's still working in your thimble journal. Cool. Um, I overlapped by mistake because I wasn't paying attention. And what do I say about that? Do we throw away the journal? Do we rip that page out? Or do we say we don't care? Yes. Answer C. Oh, thanks, Biddleston. When are you coming on? I'm guessing you're going to have to come on with me tomorrow because I'm about done. I'm getting tired. Um, but when are you going to come on with me tomorrow? And are you going to jelly or are you going to journal or what? Don't you like how I put her on the spot? Right? Darla, I was thinking more like when it got journaled over or whatever, a person could just cover it up or ignore it. There's that. It's perfectly imperfect. Debbie, yay. That was your goal yesterday. I'm going to use the little arrows, you guys. I like those. So I'm going to point the arrow, well, some of the arrows in on this page. And I'm trying to roughly line it up with the, um, oh, not num just brought me food. Oh, yum. <laughs> Thanks, honey. 
Uh, I'm going to roughly line it up with the stitching and try to keep it on the left hand side of the page. But if it, you know, if I don't, there you go. Awesome. Biddleston, you want to put the dots on things. Can you do it with, can you jelly plate rocks? No, it does rock. Oh, and it smells good. I asked for um, egg and sausage casserole. I was having a craving for some eggs. I love the little guys. You should be able to jelly print a rock, right? Why not? I'm telling you, Christy. Let's do it. Okay, I'm taking a bite. I'll tell you how Nom's cooking turned out today. I can generally tell you in advance, yum, but. Oh my. Um, Nom Nom, yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's delicious. Nom made sauce, uh, it's biscuits and gravy casserole. Um, it's got some authority. That's got a little bit of a kick, but that is good. Okay, now I'm doing the top and the bottom just to be different. And I'm using the dotty one because it was next in line on the stencil. You should be jealous, Margie, because it's really good. I could have done arrows on the other side of that page, but I don't want to fill the whole page up, you know? So I'm doing top and bottom on this side. Yeah, if you have nice flat rocks, they want to be jelly printed. So it kind of just pulls your focus into the page. Thanks, Christy. We were just saying that I um just I doodled them and cut them out on the Cricut because Diane Reevely was using hers, her border stencils. I don't have any. And you can use any stencil that you have. You just have to be careful to get the outside edge. And we know what my attention span is like. That wasn't going to work out. It's got to have some authority. That's right. And oh, my God. You guys want to see it? It's so good. And it's got green onions. Here I go. I'm taking another bite. Mm. Honey, that needs to go in the recipe book. Mm-hmm. That can be a retreat breakfast food. Oh, yeah. That's right. Throw them at never mind, Margie. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I wikey. All right. So I think I want to stick with the black. I like that. My little border stencil got it's too wide or something, but let's try it. Let's see if it'll work. What the heck? Let's do it on the tissue paper. Because that'll probably get 86 anyway. That's right. Once again, he earns the handle nom. Oh, you found a picture. Oh, I know. We are ready to have a retreat, Laura. It's going to be a while, I'm afraid. But we'll be here and we're just thinking of ways to make it new and improved. Is your husband going to make you sausage and egg ca or biscuit and gravy casserole, Nana? Yeah. He should use this recipe because yum. See, look, you guys, our stencil is getting sturdier already with paint on it. <laughs> oh, cute. Look, ah, I like it. It does give us something to look forward to. I know. Yes, Margie. Footprints. We're going to put arrows all over the floors. You can only walk this direction. Yep. We're having those engraved into the floor. Yes, the stencil looks more loved. Oh, Nana, I got to tell you, this is really good. Thanks, Barbara. 
Yep, they're all made with the Cricut. I just drew them with a Sharpie on a piece of paper and um, cut them. I scanned them and I do clean them up in Photoshop because if you, with my Cricut or the way I do it, maybe I do it wrong, but um, I do like to clean it up in Photoshop to get neater edges. And then I just cut it out of cardstock and you got yourself a stencil. Yeah, I'll make the footsteps. Is that, is that what you're talking about? The footprints. We could. We could make vinyl footprints and put them all over the house. That would be weird. It took me that long to figure out what you were talking about. So fun. It's like a little double page spread. Angie's trying to be good. They put blue suede shoes on the fourth floor of Graceland. No, they didn't. Oh, thanks, Nana. Okay. This is um, Li Liquitex black paint. It's not, it doesn't dry nearly as fast as the dilution. So <gasps> that would be fun. We could put them going in crazy places to confuse people. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Margie, I can't believe it. I have never been to Graceland, and I have to say I would not mind seeing that. Well, yeah, I figured you meant pictures of a Margie. And they probably didn't cut them out with a cricket. Oh, let's make 87 walk around in circles. Fun. <laughs> hey, Lucy, welcome. I have been on a lot today. I can't believe you guys aren't sick of me. It turns out that hashtag Journal Jelly June is super fun, Lucy. Yeah, we do still walk around in circles, Laura. Okay. Try to put a little bit there. The one drawback with cardstock rather than um, having it be mylar or clear plastic is it is a little harder to line it up. Oh, no, not the hiccups. Oh, dear. The hiccups. No, oh, Farrington, you're so sweet. Whoops. Oh, we could put things on the ceilings in the bedrooms. <laughs> Sue, what made you sigh? What makes you sigh? Oh, Deb, Elizabeth and I had a hoot. I was so sorry I had to leave, but I promised Kathy I would go over to her channel. Well, I invited myself. Okay, let's just be honest. I invited myself, and it seemed rude not to show up. And we also had a fabulous time there. <laughs> oh, you know what? The Because it's a border, that's why I like the black. I also did not stay in line. <laughs> Making sure I didn't just dip myself in black paint. Um, Chrissy, with a black or a white, you can, you know, for a border or a focal, focal point, it works beautifully. I always pick the wrong color um, when I'm picking a color to pull a print. Has anyone seen a frozen Charlotte mold? I've seen frozen Charlottes, but I've never seen a mold for one. Oh, good. I'm glad you didn't hear it, Arlene. It was kind of loud. It's because I'm shoving food in my face because it's so good. Sorry, guys. It's been a long day. I'm hungry. <laughs> hey, Jilly. I'm glad you could come, Lucy. I've just been um, bopping around. Some on my channel, some on other people's. I personally feel like L should open a StreamYard account and um, invite me on it first, but that's totally her call. What do you guys think? <laughs> you made a frozen Charlotte mold, Lucy? Wow. 
I have seen Frozen Charlotte head jewelry. Arlene, no, they're um, Victorian bisque dolls. I will, I will. Al, I'm just kidding. Who knows? I'll wake up tomorrow and be half dead. I'll be like, I'm never going on live again. <laughs> nope, Al, you don't. You do not have to put in a code every time. Yes, Debbie, thank you. It's free and easy to use. Okay, I'm not going to put anything on the black. Or should I do white on the black? Yes, they are Victorian creepy babies. Absolutely. Ah, you guys are sweet. Farrington, go for it, and I'll need one <laughs> when you make those bracelets. You'll have to sell me one. Nicole, it is. You get um, 20 free hours a month. Oh, Debbie, I could. Let's finish the black ones um, just because I've got black paint out, and then maybe we'll do that in Sparks. Fun. Yeah, because Victorian people knew how to do creepy. No, Elizabeth, you managed to get your videos up and everything. You'll be fine. Oh, Farrington, you're a sweetie. How cool would that be, right? Didn't I say 20, Debbie? I'm sorry. 20 free hours a month. Yes, Arlene, go, uh, go Google Frozen Charlotte. I have some that I bought in Round Top when we were in Texas that were all broken up and... I love them. I don't know what to do with them yet, but I have them. Allison, you made it. I've been on for all of eternity, Allison, and loving it. Look how cute the arrows came out, you guys. How was the graduation, Allison? Congratulations. I agree, Debbie. L, I think that if you just look around at StreamYard, I think it's way easier than YouTube Studio. Oh, Nicole, no way. Yeah, the Victorians were a creepy crowd. Mindy, I do not believe it is. I do not believe it's expensive. You buy like a block or something. I haven't done it yet, but hey, I guess what? I bet after this weekend, even though I swore I wouldn't pay for time from Ustream, I don't know why, or StreamYard. I don't know why I swore that, but um, yeah, I bet I'll have to. And I don't think it's expensive at all. Oh, Allison, I know. Both of mine at my kids' graduations, I cried like a little girl. But so proud, aren't you? Nana, I use StreamYard with YouTube even when I'm by myself because there is some setting in my computer that we cannot find and it's made nom insane. So I don't ask anymore, but there's something that will not let me go straight on from YouTube. So I use StreamYard. Um, so I use, you know, a bit of it. Oh, cat, you got to go work. Thank you for coming, honey. Oh, Farrington, really? If you start the live, you have to be on a desktop. I did not know this. That's right. Just stay on the virtual road show. Can't have one here. I'll just bring it to you. I'm sorry in advance. Yes, Christy, that is true. You can go into someone else's. You just need a link from someone to jump on with them. Okay. And I'm actually trying to get these, you know, relatively straight. So I'm not looking. If I missed anything, you guys, the chat was flying there for a minute. So if I missed anything, just yell at me. Carla was playing with StreamYard and it said that. StreamYard said. Ooh, road trip to South Carolina. Well, Allison, you might as well keep coming all the way up here. How's it looking for university to start in the fall. Oh, 
Oh, ooh, I like it with borders on both sides. This is the tissue paper. So I decided to, um, Margie, I don't see it on my end, but that doesn't mean anything. It's Saturday, Saturday night. So I would be surprised if we didn't buffer. Ah, I hear you, Allison. Yep. We're waiting to see if either of my kids can get back into school. I like how it looks on both sides. I left the tissue blank or border free just because it's very strong on the tissue and I just didn't want to. Arlene found frozen Charlotte heads and is freaked out. Yay. Yes, Margie, we didn't know how to say it politely, but it's just you. I could, Debbie. I could. It could be Daddy Vans to become translucent, but I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, Alice, get your butt up here. If Maine is open, I hope you come and come to a retreat because we're excited. Let's make pirate footprints again, shall we? Seriously, you guys, are you bored out of your gourd? I could do this by myself, not live, if you're bored. Oh, thanks, Angie. Yeah, people give us thumbs down, but you know what? Uh, in terms of how it looks to YouTube, they look the same as a thumbs up. Does not matter. And um, it kind of makes me giggle that someone doesn't know that. Or honestly, if I got someone's goat enough that they want to throw up a thumbs down, well, then neener. <laughs> Just neener. How about that? Because <laughs> I'm mean, Andy. So I say neener. And it's all fine. Oh, no. I don't want to watch anything that ends badly. Okay, you're not bored. No more bored than I usually make you. Oh, wait. Farrington said something and I missed it. Ah, oh, thanks, 87. Oh, no, it was Biddleston. Just got a mold for tea lights. Oh, no, with their logo on the inside of the mold. Oh, that is rotten, Christy. I can't imagine how frustrated you were. I would have said whole new combinations of bad words. Yeah, I'm big time now. I usually get four thumbs down. I'm up to two now. Sweet. But what are you going to do? I am not everyone's cup of tea. Imagine. <gasps> Nicole, if I got a thumbs down for every bad word I said, can you imagine? They probably wouldn't even let me on YouTube. <laughs> Nicole is Relax Cut Glue, you guys. If you have not subscribed to her or checked her out on Instagram, make sure that you do. Hey, speaking of you guys, anything that you have going on, sales or anything like that, put them up in chat. Let everyone know. Enable everyone. I forgot to say that this was also Enable You Weekend. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Because that kind of makes it look like a double spread. and I'm so seeing Christmas. You will, though, Jilly. Of course, Nicole, you're a hoot and a half. Okay, so that's okay, because what I'm going to do, -ha -ha, I'm going to go right down the center of the signature, which also happens to be the center of our book. Hold on. Wait for it. Don't panic. And I'm going to put this little rascal in there. Nana, you going to do it? All right, Debbie, can you boil it and make covers or colors? Oh, I am getting tired, you guys. Yes, Mike Deacon and Ian Rock. <sighs> Biddleston supports bad words. That's my girl, Biddleston, you swear your head off. <laughs> I don't know what Vivian tries is, Lucy. 
So see how the black kind of visually cut the page in half so it doesn't scream Christmas at me quite as much. Oh, Nana, fun. When was your birthday? Oh, all right, Debbie, if you must eat it. <gasps> as I live and breathe, it is my Julie Everidge. Where are you, Julie? How's your trip? Are you still gone or are you at home? Happy late birthday, Nana. Julia, I'm goofing around. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, probably funny without a head. Oh my gosh, Lucy, that's funny. Thanks, 87. I'm sneaking another bite of dinner because, oh my goodness. <laughs> Farrington, what the hell? <laughs> Where are you camping, Julie? Are you on your trip still or are you on a separate camping trip. Are you standing on top of a mountain on one leg, holding a metal rod and your phone in the other up in the air? Cause that's cool. You're still on your trip. Where, what state are you in Julie? I promise I won't come stalk you probably. I might come stalk you because I wub you so. And again, this is tissue, so I'm going to skip over it. Don't those look like cool little footy prints? <laughs> when I drew them, I was thinking windows or doors, but now they look like sneaky footy prints. Oh, Julie, nice. Hot or cold there? I wish I'd stenciled something in that circle. I know I have black on my plate and that's going to kind of be a mess. But don't you know? Oh, I turned it around. Whoops. Now I am making things backwards. 238,000 subbies for trying crap on TV. Get out. <laughs> it's cold here too, Julie. Are you in the mountains? Of all of these so far, guys, I think the X's and the arrows are my favorite. I'm going to take the arrows off the page a little bit. I don't want them to stick in quite as far. Yeah. I'd like to go to a restaurant and have brunch. I want some egg kick. I don't know. 71, Carla. It's chilly here tonight. It's crazy. What do you love, Julie? What did I miss? Oh, look how sneaky and cute they are. Elle, where did you go? Everything is open there. I don't know, Julie. That scares me. That scares me. Yeah, Elle, I don't even ask you because what's the point? Oh, thanks, Julie. I made it. I just doodled the borders and then cut it out with the cricket. But it's looking like it's going to go in my Etsy. I got you, Elle. <laughs> um, because it appears to be a fave. Cardboard or cardstock stencils. Everyone should have them. <laughs> Angie, everything's open there, too? I don't know. Yeah, Julie, that scares me. There's a meme on Facebook about, I think I'll just sit back and see how that goes. That's pretty much where Nam and I are on that. Let's just see how that goes. How did that work out for you? <laughs> Let's put some dots. Let's have some dotties. Oh, yeah, I'm geographically impaired as well, Farrington. <laughs> Is that your goal, Deb? 
off grid would not be my favorite. I love the grid, frankly, and I leave a huge carbon footprint. Wow, Angie. I know this. What um, what state do you live in? I can't think, but I know the answer. I was in your state for the road show. Tennessee. You live in Tennessee. Interesting. Yeah, it's really a personal choice. 87, absolutely. But Mark and I are pretty much in agreement on that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you'd like that, Farrington. Debbie, you showed it's beautiful here. Well, this year so far being an exception because the weather is nuts. When I was on with Kathy and Colleen earlier, um, the heat actually kicked in. I could feel it under my desk. <coughs> Pardon me. Sorry, guys. And yet we have tons of pollen. <laughs> I love this page. Remember we did a, we pulled a print on it because I got paint on it. How beautiful would that be? Just journaled on with, um, thanks guys, with a gel pen or yes, L, a white Posca. If only a person had one. Tennessee. Ah, oh, I almost had it, Angie. Yes, Nana lives at my house vicariously. It's true. Let's do some little pirate X's on this one. Oh, Farrington, if only I had white Posca. Elizabeth is making fun of me because I needed one today while we were journaling. However, mine is in my joggles box, taking a tour of the great Southeast. Well, yeah, Nana, you'd be happy right now. But as I said, again, now Thursday for Creepy Baby, it's supposed to hit 90. <laughs> and it's, um, I think, about 55 right now. Oh, 87 Blue Hills, gorgeous. I have a friend who retired from the military and built a house up there. Absolutely, Biddleston. Pick a stove, honey, and cook on... Oh, wait, we only have one stove, two ovens. You cook your heart out with Nom. That's how I got Nom to buy the house, was showing him the kitchen. <laughs> no, your agor agoraphobia would... And if it did, Margie, if your agoraphobia kicked in, you could just stay in one part of the house, you see. Oh, Nana, that's hideous. I'm just going back and reading some chat, you guys. Your boss thinks the pandemic is a hoax. Okay. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> I don't think I'll I don't think I'll go there, Darla, but wow. Is this the gentleman that has not been your favorite from the get-go? Oh, yep, that's that's Maine, Laura. Going crabbing and picking blueberries. Going to the lobster shack. Oh, yeah, Elizabeth, we were, well, you know, we were right there for the retreat. Lookout Mountain, and oh, my God, it was beautiful. We so wished we had more time to look around. Oh, Judy, no, I didn't show pictures. I keep saying that I've got to do like a walkthrough or something. Um, I will, I've got to record it because I don't get enough signal downstairs to go live. Oh, Darla, that's not you. He must be wretched because that is not you at all. I don't know how big it is, Nicole. It's, you know, it's a retreat house. That's why we bought it. <laughs> yeah, let me see if I can find a picture. Uh, let me see if I can show you a picture. 
That's right. You bring him, and we'll we'll show him who's boss. Oh, I don't have it on my phone, you guys. I can't show you. I promise I will do um, a walking tour of the house. I'll record it. Oh, you know what I should do? Like that premiere thing that Karen did? Um, with her video, because that way I can be there and answer questions if you want questions answered so that you can all get ready to come for a retreat. Maha! I expect to see you all here once the all clear sounds. Oh my God, Darla, that's horrible. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, that's just, yeah, that's awful. Look how cool that looks with the boobies we stenciled on and then the arrows. Well, and Darla is extremely patient. So for her to feel that way, it's got to be horrendous. Ah, oh, thanks, Colleen. Yeah, can we smack him with a rule? I mean, can HR smack him with a rules book, Darla? Thanks, guys. Deb, are you really going to come? That is awesome. I would love that. Oh, Julie, have a wonderful campfire. Sing a campfire song for us, honey. I miss you. When are you going to be home? I'm reading the chat, you guys. It's zipping along again. That's even more people than the last time I spoke to you about it, Darla. That's crazy. Yeah, Debbie, that's hard. I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, and tell some ghost stories. Yes, thank you. Excellent. Well, we care if you go off to Maine, so come on, girl. I'm telling you, that's the upside of this quarantine thing, is Mark and I are just thinking of more fun things to do. <laughs> yes, it's Colleen, owner of the one and true leaf. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I was still laughing an hour later. Oh, bye, Judy. Thanks for coming. You know I'll be lurking around tomorrow because it's hashtag Journal Jelly June and Gin. Love it. I'm loving how this is turning out, you guys. So it's taken me a little longer than it should have because I'm yakking and, you know, not really concentrating as much as I could. But honestly, this is fast. This is a really, really fast way to um, fill up pages if you don't want to look at a white page. If you want to make a quick little journal and have white fear, white page fear, it's great. Yeah, it's funny. It's hard to know how people become a boss when they're that way. It just, I mean, to hear Darla say that, it's got to be so bad. Colleen, that was hysterical. And the harder you laughed, the harder I laughed. I thought I was going to lose my mind. I was laughing so hard. Oh, that's right. I forgot Getty, but his name would have to be Jetty to fit in Margie. Oh, no, honey, you're not. Darla, you are not a downer at all. We are your friends. And if you need to vent, that's what we're here for. I, I can't imagine how hard it is for you. I know you and I have spoken about it a few times, and that's just horrible. Oh, thanks, 87. Oh, well, I'm glad you did about the leaf to end all leaves, Colleen, because that will live in infamy. Oops, I moved the stencil, so we went a little off kilter, but hey, do we care? Nope. Try to line that up a little bit and just tap it out. We'll tap it out. Look at that. 
like we meant to do it. Why is he crushed? Because he can't, no, his name is just Jetty now. And he fits right in, Margie. It's a, Tell him it's okay. That's right. In the sea of asshats. Tap, tap a -roo. Darla, you are so sweet and helpful to everyone in our crafty world. Let it, let us do the same for you periodically. Cause it's just fair. I got a big bloop of paint on the back of the stencil. Don't care. Cause I don't want to smear it on my pages. We do love you to bits and pieces. Because I can't get the poop out. <laughs> oh my God. Colleen. Well, hopefully you had the leaf to help you. Oh, Debbie. Oh, Debbie, I'm so sorry. Oh, boy. Well, luckily for you, I'll just be bugging the hell out of you for the next 36 hours. <laughs> That's right. Farrington had to go through her 250 extra pounds. That's what we're here for. The leaf. Oh, awesome. Darla is the queen of all wrenches. You know, I know I've used the arrows a lot. Hey, Karen. Did you try the um, unsubscribing and resubscribing trick? I'm using the arrows again, guys, because I think they're my favorite. Yeah, Debbie, I, I can't tell you how sorry I am. Ugh. The best I can offer you is my goofiness to take your mind off of it. Distract you. Oh, my God, Margie. Oh, Karen, I'm sorry. Um, I still get mine sporadically for people. Margie, today when I went to Kathy Berg's with Colleen to Jelly Plate, when I invited myself to Kathy Berg's, which still is cracking me up, um, Colleen was going to try Kathy's Arbor, Kathy Arbor's technique using, well, let's say foliage or weeds. You know. uh, Colleen went on a nature walk and found the biggest leaf in the world, uh, like as big as a car. And it turns out not only was it big and fabulous, it's a magical leaf like no other leaf ever. That leaf can do everything for you. <sighs> and I think you might have had to be there and it might be worth going back for a replay if you're bored in the middle of the night. It was, it was the mother of all leaves. <laughs> it was hysterical. <laughs> I, yeah, I guess you had to be there, but... Once, hey, Colleen, did you figure out what kind of leaf it is yet? Is it edible? Oh, no, Debbie, 37. Karen, what art journal page? Oh, my God, Margie, if you want to laugh, then Colleen got hysterical, and so I got hysterical. And poor Kathy was like, oh, my God, why are these people on my channel? <laughs> oh, Arlene, that might be it. Yeah, that could be it. All right, we have one last border. You guys pick it. Which one do we use? I'm leaning towards Dottie's. Oh, Karen, I'm finishing up that journal we started the other night. Um, jelly plating and just brayering. The Diane Reevely inspired. I'm just putting in borders right now. 
Yeah, it's just oh, good for art. Oh, the, the leaf makes the best prints in the whole world. It's a magical leaf. There's no doubt about that leaf. It's the leaf of queens. <laughs> My favorite leaf ever. Did you really wax it? How are you going to eat it if you waxed it? Colleen, would you put your um would you put your YouTube channel in again, honey? My keyboard is buried somewhere. It's the scrap chick, Margie, right up above you, and she's going to put her link in because she's a good person that way. Okay, what did we decide? Oh, Colleen, what are you going to do for dinner tomorrow night? Um, Elle might have left Angie. Her head was feeling better, but it might have gotten worse again. I know. She was holding out on us, Debbie. <laughs> Kathy was holding out on us. All right, you guys aren't telling me I'm going dotty. <laughs> well, I am dotty, but I think we already had that conversation. Okay, off we go. What did I do with my... Oh, here we go. Oh, Elle, you are here. I didn't know if your headache had come back to haunt you. I know mine sometimes get uh, worse at night. Well, and if I've had a lot of screen time. So, yeah, you guys, next Friday is... Uh, migraine medication day, which means I'll start having breakthrough headaches next week. So between that and it being forecast to be 90 on Thursday, creepy baby may or may not happen. <laughs> I'm ready to go. I've got everything ready. Everything got solidified again after that, um, that humid, gross day on Thursday. Oh my God. I swear the modeling paste was soft again. You're almost a new woman, L. Yay. Oh, no, what, darling? Yes, L was hunting the, the leaf. Thank you so much, Colleen. I appreciate it. I've buried my keyboard and my fingers are a little painty. Oh, it's okay, darling. Thank God that, you know, the Botox really makes a huge difference. Uh, I'm, I am a little past due because I have to say my doctor is in York County, which is Southern Maine, and they're still closed because of the high incidence of cases. I mean, relatively high in the state of Maine. So I put off going a little bit, but not too far. But I do know the uh, breakthrough headaches will come. Look for the leaf bigger than your hand. Are you kidding, Debbie? Look for the leaf bigger than your car. That leaf was the queen of all leaves. <laughs> There'll be no other leaf like it. <laughs> oh, I like the dotties. Excellent choice, you guys. Okay, so let me brayer this out while we let this set up a little bit. Michelle, what are you laughing at? <laughs> About the queen of all leaves. You were there. It is the be best leaf in the world. I don't know if there was enough paint here to really get anything, but, um, oh, let's do this. Oh, that little rascal stuck. Let's put it over this cool print and see if there's any black paint on the stencil. No, no, there wasn't. This plate, Laura, is actually five by five. It's a student grade. Margie, shut up. It was cool. Um, it's a student grade jelly arts plate and look how thin it is. I like it. It works fine. It is a lot flappier and, um, a lot thinner than the non-student grades, but it was also cheaper. Okay. So let's do this. Ha ha. I've always got a trick up my sleeve. This is for you, Farrington. Let's put royal gold on the black. The huge leaf mystery tree. <laughs> I don't know why that struck me as so funny. It has no divots, L. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, yeah, Debbie, they would be good for printing right in your comp book. 
little less control about where you plunk them down because they're thin. Yes, flappier is a very technical term. Carla, don't use it just any place. <laughs> Michelle, I couldn't help it. Colleen was killing me. And then, I mean, even though she was hysterical, all those pulls were gorgeous. You guys, this magical leaf can do no wrong on the jelly plate. Seriously. It was unbelievable. Okay, let's pull this one with tissue and see what happens. This is just the cheapo tissue from, uh, it was a package, I think. I know you love comp books, Jersey. Yeah, the poles were, the, the leaf can do no wrong. You found your second composition book, Debbie? Oh, it's not really cleaning the plate off, but still in all. Oh, don't do that. We'll have none of that. Ooh, looky there. We got it. You know, parts of it are clean. That's that's fine. I'll take it. But look at this. What? The big bottle off to the left of the plate that you used, Colleen. That was her gin, Linda. Nope, just kidding. That's how ugly rumors get started. It was my gin. Debbie, I saw that Tim did a live Q&A. Thanks, Elle. I really like this one. Again, I don't know why I'm fuzzy. Hold on, Angie. Wait a minute. Um, there's a lot more detail in there than I can see on the screen. Part of it's the metallic, but a lot of those stencils and stuff are showing up. Don't leave yet, Angie. Welcome back, Linda. Just in time. This is what I think, people. This is what I think. So our book is done. You want to do a quick flip through? Or are you sick of looking at it? We made it out of the shopping bag. Rennie's, a main adventure. It's got a handy carrying handle. What, Margie? What? Love the borders. I just am so enamored. Yes, I'm telling you what I think. No, I don't think I'll bore you with that. Oops. Had a little stickage, but it's okay. All right, Laura, hurry up. Oh, Jilly. <laughs> Drink rum instead. I'm on it. That leaf is an urban legend. Thumbs up for the leaf. See, and this is, I mean, this is just so cool, you guys. You can just take even a Sharpie to doodle. Look how fun. Oh, well, my Sharpie's dying too. I've killed all the pens or whiskey. Maybe I'll try them all out tomorrow. And when I fall down, I'll go live. How's that? And I'll tell you guys about it. Oops, slip it in. My fingers are sticky from the paint. <laughs> oh, I just love it. The Kraken. <laughs> Mark's favorite kind of rum. Urban legend, giant magical mystery leaf, which also serves as roofing material and clothing. <laughs> I don't blame you, Carla. I would smell the Sharpie. Oh, wait, I did. Yeah, Margie, that's how doodles are supposed to look, silly. I like how the um, border stencils, some of them are really strong. And some of them are a little more laid back. Yep, got a hole there. It got stuck there. I'm okay with that. Works for me. <gasps> Pockets. Hi, honey bunny. I figured you'd had enough of me slash so social media. We're just flipping through the little book we made. I just did, uh, I stenciled in the borders. Thanks, Michelle. I don't know if you were here, but I made them, I just doodled them 
because Diane Reevely, you know, is following her technique on this and she has border stencils. I didn't. So I just drew them and cut them out with the Cricut. So I made the stencil and it may be available in the shop next week because that was the popular vote. It's high quality cardstock stencil material. <laughs> Uh, yep, loving it. This, I think, is one of my favorite two pages. Yep, and then there's the tissue paper for using or tearing out, collaging, whatever. I'm just, I, I so want to take a black pen and outline those. Oh, gosh, there are 40 of us here. Awesome, thanks, you guys. You're right, Pockets, I didn't realize. The booby page. We all love the booby page. Yeah. You like that one too, Sue? So that was it. And really, I mean, yeah, it took me like a session and a half, but that was while messing around and talking and carrying on. This is really a fast way to make a journal. Should you be so inclined and want to use your jelly plate to do it. So this is what I think. Oh, thanks, Nana. This is what I think. Yep, this is the part where I tell you what I think, Margie. Hold on to your chairs. Let's give it away. What do you think? You guys have, um, no? Is that a resounding hell no, we don't want it? That's cool. <laughs> Margie, are you shocked? <laughs> oh, please, God, don't make us have that book. I like it. Be nice to it. Thanks, Carla. What? Really what, Colleen? Pamela, awesome. Oh, I like your mask emoji. Oh, Nicole, absolutely. I love giving crap away. Let's do it. You guys put up with me this long and help me. No rando numbers? What do you mean, Farrington? I was going to do... A random number. Let's do it. I can't do random number thingy. Is that bad? What is it? Um, random dot? No. Org? Eh, eh, eh. I only do go on rando number at Bemas. Carla, I have no idea. <laughs> Boobies and all. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you, Darla. I think I might be really tired, you guys. Okay. Let's go. Let's go over there. Aha. How many are we? Darla, how many people should I, or how many numbers should I do? Look, see, I'm bugging. Hey, cat. Oh, cat's back for a giveaway, you sneaky woman. Let's put it on the booby page, get everyone psyched up. I love this page. Let's leave it on this page. I should do 50? Okay. So I'm going to type in. Oh, 75. Wait. Is it one number each or is it keep picking? Darla and Farrington, help me. God, I haven't done, I apparently haven't done enough giveaways lately. Okay, so my phone's not in my hands. I just have it set up. I'm trying to find my mouse. I found my keyboard. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I can, Darla. Maybe I can't. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do pick a number, one number only, you guys, between 1 and 75. Thank you. Yes, Michelle. Wait, hold on, Billy. I haven't put it in yet. Um, between one and 75, one number only. And whoever gets closest without going over um, will win the journal. Is that, yeah, I think that's everything I have to say. So here we go. Jilly, I know you got all excited, huh? Happens to me all the time. Okay. I got a number. It told me a number, so I'm looking. 
wins the price is right. I like that you're consistent, Jilly. Oh, oh. Is everyone put a number in? I think I see our winner. Double check in. Double check in. Okay, I'm going to put in a stop. Also, I'm going to go with 13 because it was your first number. Sadly, it was not a winner. Final, final, uh, final call. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Let's see if I can get this to show you. Oh, no, it closed. You can't take me anywhere. Hopefully I can get this to show because I went out of dark mode. The number was 34. I'm putting it on the screen now. And I think it was Margie. Margie, Margie, Margie. But can you guys help me double check? We wouldn't want to give Margie a prize by mistake that she didn't deserve. <laughs> Mindy, I thought it was you. But then I saw Margie had 27. I think all the ones that were closer went over. It is Margie. Yay. It's really for Getty, though. It's really for the, the Getty Kitty. Congratulations, Margie. I'm so thrilled. I hope you like it. Oh, you guys, Patty Lang is uh, live with a thrifting haul. In case you need to see a thrifting haul. So, or you can make stuff out of garbage. Take your pick. <laughs> This was um, a ton of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, you'll make sure to give it to Getty. Excellent. Um, yeah, so try it. You know, if you just want to make a quick and easy journal or play with your jelly plate, this was a ton of fun. And it does make me want to journal in it. And I think I'll make some more of these pages for my own journal. Haha, -ha, because it was fun. Oh, you guys are the best. Thanks for playing with me. Uh-oh, Margie, I don't even want to know. That sounds wrong. You're so welcome, 87. Thanks for playing with me, you guys. Thanks for playing. Uh... Were we gelling tomorrow? Uh, I don't have a set schedule yet, Michelle. I'm hoping that Elizabeth's head will hold out and she's going to journal with me some more tomorrow. And I'm going to play with Christy Biddleston at her leisure. But we don't have set times yet. Poor banana. Oh, my. <laughs> Pamela, it was so nice to meet you. Thank you for coming to play. All of you guys, it's been awesome. Oh, Eileen, it was so much fun. Thank you. And watch out um, on the Facebook group because I'll keep posting what nonsense I'm going to get up to next. And you guys all have a wonderful night. Stay well. Stay safe. And big hugs and kisses. Love you all. Good night.